we are here to talk about uh, chapters 51 through 60 in the manga here, uh, which Lawrence has just read for the first time. And I'm going to ask him some questions as I've uh, read the series entirely. Uh, anything before we start off? or I'm good to go. All right. Okay, so something uh, I realized that I forgot yesterday after we did our yesterday's stream was thoughts on the volume six poem from the Death Trilogy Overture. Um, as a reminder, the poem for volume six is, yes, there is no fate for us. Only those that are swallowed by ignorance and fear and miss a step fall into the river rapid called fate. Hmm. Yes, there is no fate for us. Hmm. In interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, trying to think how it would connect to this story here. Um, do you think that connects to like the, the overall story going on? Or do you think that's more like a broad, you know, commentary, that poem? Um, I remember when I first read this, I guess, as like, when I first read this back when I was like a young teen or preteen, I didn't really understand this poem, but rereading it now, I get the significance a little more. I think it has to do with the idea of, I think it kind of fits loosely into this one, the idea of fate versus choice and action where Ichigo is very much, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what, yeah, I get like the, like the meat, like the meaning, like uh, the Honda, of course, like they're mm. talking about like, uh, like, you, you know, you being like, kind of resigned to fate is like, like, like being kind of ignorant, chasing it. So I guess that's the Uryu, the Uryu path that he was on, like being resigned yeah. to like, my fate is to kill this soul reaper, is kill the soul reapers and avenge my master versus mm -hmm. Ichigo, who is more saying it's about your free will and choice and about, you know, not being kind of confined to, you know, the box that whatever the world you at least what you imagine the world is like put you into you know it's more about yeah your own desires and own um path okay yeah so to recap where we ended yesterday uh ichigo and or you had finished their contest uh they'd sort of seemingly resolved their differences as to the start of it and uh ichigo fought off the menos grande and the chapter ended with uh Jinta smashing a little fly that turned out to be an electronic transponder. Hmm. That's that what was, it was. Uh, spying on them. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, yesterday I mentioned that, hey, uh, it was a pretty great set of 10 chapters in terms of how it flowed. Today we have another great set of 10 and how they flow. Um, it's a little more expansive. We can be a little more freewheeling here. Just uh, thoughts on Renji. Ringy, um, refresh because uh, the names are probably like the like the the, the hardest. He's part the right? red haired spiky guy, the the more brash one of the Soul Reapers. Yeah. Okay, because one's the brother by Bayak Bayuka Bayak Yakia by Bay Bayakia. Yeah. Yakia. So yeah, yeah, he was definitely like uh, kind of like a like almost like the even more like Soul Reaper version of like Ichigo in terms of like being like brash and. Like that kind of personality, but I think there uh, there's a difference in terms of like, uh, you know, he's more he's more prone to like talking trash and more and mm. more prone to kind of uh, um, like uh, uh, the rational is harsh, but like uh, you know, like uh, like I don't know, like these the, like Ichigo is definitely like on a different level from him in terms of like in my in my term in, in in like mental capacity, in my opinion, like he seems like he's more thoughtful and more like recognizing the stuff around him but this guy like is also equally um kind of he, he seems like pretty much like runs on willpower like he doesn't seem like the the kind to, have, to think out of like a great strategy or anything like that mm -hmm. like you know he's kind of a um like a mid-level reaper versus compared to especially like uh rukia's brother who seems like he's like the top of the food chain yeah uh so Renji is a uh, vice captain and Byakuya is his captain in the, their division. Gotcha. Um, yeah, Renji is definitely a little more of a hothead, especially in his first introduction he, here. He's pretty much all over the place, um, yeah. just yapping off. Uh, what are your thoughts on Byakuya? Anything further? 
yeah i mean he definitely seems like uh like a, a beast like he's like uh I, I like it seems like they're almost setting it up for him to be kind of like the big bad maybe until he like eventually is his mind is changed on the situation like maybe like mm-hmm. he seems like he seems like the type that um is like a by the book kind of person though so i think it's going to be kind of like the a um a uh like inner kind of turmoil for him like whether like at the when it, at the end of the day like uh whether mm-hmm. or not he follows like the by the book like this is like the soul reaper guidelines and i have to stick to this plan versus like i see the power within ichigo i see like my rukia my sister is like a, about to be get put to death i don't know how close that connection is in this soul reaper world like the brother sister connection but i can't i imagine that's going to weigh on him as well so uh, I'm intrigued to see if that's going to become like a plot line within this uh, arc as to, um, you know, whether he's going to flip sides or he's going to uh, stay completely like uh, like by the code Soul Reaper person. Yeah, Byakuya is uh, extremely reserved, very stately. You're very much on the money here with him being a, a very on the by the book person. Yeah. Um, all about code and what he believes in upholding. Right. Um, thoughts overall on these ten chapters? Oh yeah, uh, really good stuff. It seemed like it was ramp- ramping up a lot in terms of uh, you know getting to um, ultimately uh, Ichigo going into the Soul Society to try to save Rukia. Uh, I like the the training stuff with uh, Kasuke. Uh, you know, kind of giving him the um, giving uh you know starting out with the training is of saying like you, you don't have your shinigami anymore uh you're not soul reaper anymore so we're gonna have to, like start from the like beginning in terms of like pushing you out of your getting you to like go out of your body and like get adjust to the soul energy and be able to take punches and uh and and attack and so uh that definitely seems like it's a back to basics thing and then on the other hand it was uh also good to see uh orihime uh you know, make her choice in terms of backing Ichigo, like, uh, and, uh, w- and, you know, getting Chad to go along with it as well. I mean, it seemed like Chad was kind of like, like, I guess he was like waiting on her answer, but I think he was mm-hmm. like more, he, I think he was almost like, I'm, I'm probably going to end up doing this, but I'll wait to see what you say as well before I make that choice. Um, but yeah, so definitely, uh, definitely seems like things are ramping up here. Yeah. We see the, arrival of Renji and Byakuya to return Rukia back to Soul Society and charge her with crime uh, and potentially be executed. Um, And Ichigo loses his Shinigami powers due to a purposeful strike by Byakuya. And uh, Ichigo is saved by Urahara, who then tries to uh begins the training process to help him recover his powers so pretty good chunk of uh content here this is really sort of the beginning of the first real major arc of the series and it's uh the way it lines up here in terms of 51 to 60 is just a nice little slice yeah for sure uh so we did you did start uh volume seven here you pretty much finish it there's actually uh chapter 61 is the end of volume seven Mm -hmm. Uh, so let's talk about the poem for volume seven Volume seven is called The Broken Coda, and the poem is, We should not shed tears. That is a surrender of the body to the heart. It is only proof that we are beings that do not know what to do with our hearts. Yeah, that, I thought it was a good one. I mean, it seemed like it was uh, mostly dealing with, like, the kind of the Rukia and, and Ichigo, like, separation in terms of, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, her like reserving her emotions to to save him by you know because that because uh once he uh is trying to save her and and ichigo like reaches out and like touches her brother she kind of like snaps on him and says like how dare you but you could tell it's like a put on thing for her to uh like let him escape and um yeah so it was yeah definitely great connection there um yeah yeah, pretty good poem pretty painful is rukia you know fakes uh disdain for ichigo and then breaks you know pleading to just stop oh yeah it yeah. was uh it was yeah, tough stuff um and then it was good to see also Uryu there backing up uh 
well, Ruki at first, yeah. and then <laughs> getting owned like real quick, and then kind of realizing like all right, my only hope to get back at these guys is through Ichigo. So he, yeah, so it seems like he's like now 100% team Ichigo at this point. So great to see that their whole conflict is like resolved and gotten gotten to a positive place. Yeah. Um, any expectations with this training that uh, he started? Yeah, I mean, it just seems like that there, he's going to finally start like to get control of the soul energy and and um and his and his powers, you know, because he was uh, previously kind of like even during that fight with a with, uh, is it what's the it, with a uh, Bayaku yeah, and uh, yeah, Shin yeah. and uh, Shin what's the, the other guy's name Shinji Shin. Byakuya and Renji and Renji, Renji, Byakuya and Renji. Even in the fight with those two, like you could tell that they both like were like, man, this guy's really like has like is powerful if he only like knew had how to control it. I mean, it did they did also say like you're two thousand years too soon or something like that. So, uh, I, I I'm gonna, I'm intrigued to see how. 10 days is like going to like help him, you know, considering he's almost stopping starting from square one at this point, you know, leave like losing all of his soul reaping abilities. But it also does seem like he has natural, natural inclination to this lifestyle and like job. So, um, yeah, I think that, you know, so maybe they'll, they'll balance each other out and he'll, you know, be able to get to that level. Yeah. Well, you've got another uh, good set of 10 chapters ahead of you tomorrow as you discover the blade in me. Nice. Blade. Right. Yeah, and uh, as I, f- I figured that was something to do because he, they because uh, during the battle, they were asking him, um, do you even know the name of your blade? And he was like, God, like, what are you talking about? And they're like, well, that's, yeah. So yeah, I, I can't lose to you if you don't even know that stuff. So Pretty convenient that Rukia never, you know, mentioned any of this to Ichigo. But yeah, that's what I was wondering yeah. too. Yeah, I was like, that seems like a pretty like vital thing. Like, yeah, it, it, it's just an example of the writing, especially in the beginning of the series, uh, being pretty short sighted. Is I guess he was maybe still imagining the the setup for everything. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because it, it, it's hard to imagine that like the first thing you went tell someone is like, this is how you control the soul energy powers like it, it, like just not like, like she just like threw him to like a fish out of water just like go fight this thing and she didn't even like give him like the basics of like this is how you like this is how you release the power this is how the you, this is your sword this is how you know like yeah i know like definitely not the not the best sensei rukia yeah uh yeah uh i i like the the naming convention for the swords for the zanbaku tail throughout the series and uh I, I I've always very much enjoyed the design behind them and the way the different ways that they uh, we find out that they function as the series goes on. Yeah, definitely intrigued. This, uh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this, it seems like it's going to be an interesting element for sure. All right. Well, do you have anything else, or I know you got to head out real soon. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in particular. Uh, yeah, I already touched on like the oh the cat the black cat shows up. Oh. That's the other only other thing that happened. Yeah. Uh, and um What do you think went, of Yorichi? Oh uh, yeah, I'm uh yeah, definitely um interesting for sure. Uh you it, I I is I, I like is I definitely hope they kind of explore why they separated like Chad and Orihime's training away from Ichigo's training. I guess maybe because they're you know, like he's purely a soul reaper and then they just have like soul reaper adjacent abilities. I, I, so yeah, definitely um definitely and int- like want to see like what's going on with that and they, they seem like there's going to be some difficult training as well so yeah All it's right. going to be fun times yeah you'll see the results of that training tomorrow All right all right all right have a good everyone have a good one everyone bye yeah mm-hmm